What's going on, my boys? It's YT Dan back again with another video. Now, I don't know if you know, but I have recently released my book, Revival of the Duelist. This is my pride and joy. I am so happy to have this book released. It's gotten some positive reviews so far on Amazon, and people are reporting that they are learning the game of Yu-Gi-Oh from this book, and they are picking up stuff that they didn't know, which is the, I mean, the highest amount of joy I could possibly imagine. So if you haven't read this or haven't encountered this or haven't come across this yet, take a look at Amazon, take a look at my website. The links are in the description and in the cards. You can definitely get a copy of this book and have a read. But today, we're not here to read. We're here to watch. And listen to some audition tapes, my boy, for this book right here. So I currently have this book in paperback, uh, hardcover, and uh, digital. And we only are missing one format. And like Thanos, I must collect one more format for my stones. My, my glove. My... I must collect one more format for my book. But at the end of the day, my boy, we're going to be getting back in there and we're going to be taking some auditions. So what is really cool about this is, you know, I've narrowed it down. We have a ton of people send in auditions from all over the world. It's absolutely incredible. It feels amazing to do this. And I'm so happy and I'm so privileged that, like, not only do I have the opportunity to do something like this, but, you know, I'm able to give something to the world, you know, in terms of like Yu-Gi-Oh! history. And in a way, you are going to be a part of this, too, because you're going to be giving votes. So I'm just going to put it up there. You guys can get in the comment section and let me know who you like. Let me know your thoughts on the preview of the book and the chapter. And I mean, yeah, let's just go. All right, guys, so I just went in here and I just found out that there's like 20 more. And uh, yeah, so since there's like 20 more in here, we're definitely not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go through all these, but you know, I do have my narrowed down ones that I really like so far, but I am gonna go through these other ones. So if I find anybody that's better than whoever we pick here, then I guess we'll just have to find out who I pick in the end. But my boy, based off your preferences that you pick here is going to determine who I pick in the end. So, you know, who knows, my boy, but, you know, fate will be decided one way or another. But let's go ahead and try uh, the first contestant. This is Duelist A. Chapter three, starters, extenders and combo lines in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Understanding the nuance and strategy behind summoning is an art form. At the heart of it, this lies an open secret on summoning. The normal summon is one of the most important, if not the most important, resources in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is because, over time, as more archetypes were created, players understood that from one card and one summon, a cascading web of plays could be unlocked. These cards are known as starter monsters. These types of cards are easy to identify. Typically, the monster card's effect may state, if this card is normal or special summoned, add, send, set, and or banish a card from the deck depending on the archetype. Take, for example, El Seister the Invoker within the Invoked archetype. A prime example of a modern starter card its normal summon provides a search for invocation, paving the way for a series of fusion summons. This sequence is known as a combo line. This chapter delves into the pivotal role of the normal summon and combo lines. All right, so that was the first one, my boys. Let me know, Duelist A, in the comment section below. What do you think about Duelist A? What is your reaction? to the voice i i don't want to give you guys any of my thoughts or because i want to make sure that your guys's responses are unbiased but you know this was just duelist a we're gonna go ahead and listen to duelist b and see what they have to offer chapter three starters extenders and combo lines in competitive yu gi oh understanding the nuance and strategy behind summoning is an art form. At the heart of this lies an open secret on summoning. 
The normal summon is one of the most important, if not the most important, resources in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is because, over time, as more archetypes were created, players understood that from one card and one summon, a cascading web of plays could be unlocked. These cards are known as starter monsters. These types of cards are easy to identify. Typically, the monster card's effects may state, if this card is normal or special summoned, add, send, set, and or banish a card from the deck depending on the archetype. Take, for example, Alistair the Invoker within the Invoked Archetype, a prime example of a modern starter card. Its normal summon provides a search for invocation, paving the way for a series of fusion summons. This sequence is known as a combo line. This chapter delves into the pivotal role of the normal summon in combo lines. Okay, my boy, that was Duelist B. I, I mean, I, I like that one a little bit better than Duelist A. But I mean, I Duelist B, my boy, let me know in the comments below what you think about Duelist B. Here we go right now with Duelist C. Chapter 3, Starters, Extenders, and Combo Lines. In competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, understanding the nuance and strategy behind summoning is an art form. At the heart of this lies an open secret on summoning. The normal summon is one of the most important, if not the most important, resources in Yu-Gi-Oh. This is because, over time, as more archetypes were created, players understood that, from one card and one summon, a cascading web of plays could be unlocked. These cards are known as starter monsters. These types of cards are easy to identify. Typically, the monster card's effect may state, if this card is normal or special summoned, add, send, set, and or banish a card from the deck depending on the archetype. Take, for example, Alistair the Invoker within the Invoked Archetype, a prime example of a modern starter card. Its normal summon provides a search for invocation, paving the way for a series of fusion summons. This sequence is known as a combo line. This chapter delves into the pivotal role of the normal summon and combo lines. Starter. A starter can be likened to... All right, that was a Duelist C. I like that one too. I really like Duelist C as well. He, that was very clear. And also, you know, he, he you know, sound like, uh, you know, again, I don't want to give too many of my opinions on this. I don't give too many of my opinions. But he, but he sound very... Uh, I don't know. He 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 sounded energetic. He sounded like he was enthused uh, while reading, I, and I enjoyed that. I like that. Um, let's take another one here. All right, here we go, my boy. Duelist B. Here we go, Duelist B, my boy. Chapter three: Starters, Extenders, and Combo Lines. In competitive UGO, understanding the nuance and strategy behind summoning is an art form. At the heart of this lies an open secret on summoning. The normal summons is one of the most important, if not the most important, resources in UGO. This is because over time, as more archetypes were created, players understood that from one card and one summon, a cascading web of plays could be unlocked. These cards are known as starter monsters. These types of cards are easy to identify. Typically, the monster's card's effect may state, if this card is normal or special summoned, add, send, set, and or banish a card from the deck, depending on the archetype. Take for example, Aliaster the Invoker, within the Invoked Archetype, prime example of a modern starter card. Its normal summon provides a search for invocation, paving the way for a series of fusion summons. This sequence is known as a combo line. This chapter delves into the pivotal role of the normal summon and combo lines. All right, my boy. That was that was Duelist D, my boy. Y'all got to let me know how y'all felt about that one. That was, uh, that was a little... <laughs> I, I will say this thing, this one thing. You, I feel like we got to give them a little grace because I feel like some people don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is and... So when they look at it, they're just trying to read it. But then again, with the same, like, got to give them grace, like benefit of the doubt, there's that other side of the coin where it's like, well, did you Google it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But you guys got to let me know what y'all think about about that. But uh, 
like I like I mentioned before, we got one more to go. And after this last one, my boy, I got like 20 more to review now, apparently. But um, I'm going to make a decision tonight. So uh, help me out, my boys. Leave a comment below. And actually, if you made it this far in the video and you care this much about Revival of the Duelist or you've been entertained by this video, please, my boy, if you look down, hit that like button. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. And help support your boy grow Yu-Gi-Oh! Grow the channel. And support the Yu-Gi-Oh! community with Revival of Duelist E. Chapter 3. Starters, Extenders, and Combo Lines. <laughs> In competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Understanding the nuance and strategy behind summoning is an art form. At the heart of this lies an open secret on summoning. The normal summon is one of the most important, if not the most important, resources in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is because, over time, as more archetypes were created, players understood that from one card and one summon, a cascading web of plays could be unlocked. These cards are known as starter monsters. These types of cards are easy to identify. Typically, the monster card's effect may state, if this card is normal or special, summoned. Add, send, set, and slash or banish a card from the deck depending on the archetype. Take, for example, Alistair the Invoker, within the Invoked archetype, a prime example of a modern starter card. Its normal summon provides a search for invocation, paving the way for a series of fusion summons. This sequence is known as a combo line. This chapter delves into the pivotal role of the normal summon and combo lines. Starter. All right. That man cooked. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one a lot. <laughs> well, I mentioned to y'all, I got 19 other ones we got to take a look at. You got to let me know, my boy. Duelist A, Duelist B. Duelist C, Duelist D, or Duelist E, my boy. You got to let me know. We got five people here. I can't even call them finalists because, to be fair, it's way too many now for me to say that. But, like, this is just a small sample of what I'm working with. And, I, and you got to let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Who do you guys feel best represented your book here? Who do you feel best puts their voice to work for revival of the duelist my boy i want to know what you think my boy in the comment section below i think that this is it, this has got to be one of the most exciting uh fun processes that i've ever done on doing anything honestly and i'm so glad that i can have you guys like included and like a part of this in any kind of fashion but yeah revival of duelist check it out links in the description cards everywhere you know, check it out, my boy. And as always, keep it competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Revival Duels. <laughs>